Hey guys, this is Kelsey from Body Candy. Today we're here with Bridget and she's going to tell us a little bit about her piercings. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So what piercings do you have? Basically, I just have a dermal on my wrist and I have three-fourths gauges in my ears and I have my nose on either side. Oh, cool. Oh, you have it on both sides. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool. That's unique. And what one was your first piercing? My first piercing was my conch, like in my ear when I was like 15. Ah. And what about your most recent one? Um, I got my, my nose like last March, so I've had them for almost a year. Cool. And can you tell us about your gauging process? How long it took you to get there and... <laughs> Um, it's been a very long journey. I started gauging my ears when I was 13, so it's been about nine years now, so a really long time. But Slow and steady. Yeah, they've been really big. They were almost at two inches. They were at an inch and three-fourths at their biggest. Oh, and then you bring them back down. And then they, they, they've been really small, like right now they're three-fourths. So. so do you find it easily to go bigger and smaller? Yeah. Everybody's different, but like my ears shrink up a lot if I take out my plugs. Now, if you take them out, you don't think they'd ever go back down to... What? Probably not, like, no, they would never go down that far, but they do go down like a lot. All right. That's cool. So what about your dermal? How'd you, did that hurt? How'd, how'd you go through that? It actually was like the least painful piercing really? I ever got. I thought it was going to be terrible, but it was not like hard at all. It was really, really How do they even do that? They take like a scalpel. Well, I think every place is different because some places like punch out your skin. Right. But the guy that did mine took a scalpel and just like made a tiny incision and then like he took the dermal jewelry and then just like shoved it in, which sounds painful, <laughs> but it really wasn't bad. Because it's pretty small, so it's not, yeah, can't no, be that bad. It wasn't really bad at all. Cool. And what made you decide to get both sides pierced and not just one or the other? I just like um, things to be like asymmetrical, so. Actually, I think we've had somebody on here before say that. I've yeah. heard that before. That's cool. So any advice for anybody who wants to get nose piercing, engage in their ears, dermals, anything? Um, advice? I really, you just can't anticipate it. I over anticipate everything and make myself so anxious. Like I've cried before when I've gotten a piercing. It's so lame, people don't understand it. <laughs> but you just have to not anticipate it because it's not gonna be that bad and it's only gonna be like. Yeah, I do that too. Which one hurt the most? Hurt the most, my septum was the worst. Oh, so you had other piercings that you don't have in now? Yeah. What else have you had? Basically everything. My One of my best friends from back home went through a phase where she thought she was a piercer and she would like <laughs> use us as guinea pigs and pierce us all the time. So I've had like basically everything from like my, like things in my stomach and like my belly button to like everything on my face imaginable and like my ears. That's cool though. You got the experience and you just decided to take them out? <laughs> yeah, basically. Usually I take out my piercings after like one month. You just want a tri trial period? <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, any other interesting stories about your piercings? Um, I don't know. The, the guy that does my piercings now, I get them done professionally back home in Syracuse, and the guy that does them um, just puts a blindfold over my face so I don't really? get scared when I do them. Because <laughs> anticipation is, like, worse than the actual piercing. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you keep going with that. Keep that blindfold on. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming in. Thanks. <laughs>